Good morning guys, Zachary Kramer here with Cool Cars For Sale, bringing you the coolest cars that are for sale on the internet. Today, we have a very special surprise. I'm going to be reviewing this BMW M4 that is wrapped in Tiffany blue. It's Alpine white underneath. Um, it's got the nutmeg interior, it's got the carbon fiber roof, it's got everything that you want. Uh, we are at Auto Holdings on uh, Route 22 in North Jersey. Now, I've never actually seen this car before. I texted them last night, I said, hey, could I come film a video about the car? And they said they were actually really nice. They said, sure, stop by at any time. So you and I are actually going to be looking at this car for the first time together. Let's get started. All right, so let's start in the front as we typically do. When looking at a car, you should go front to back just so that you don't miss anything. So as far as features on this car go, you have the BMW adaptive headlights. Uh, these headlights are actually a really expensive option. They're like 3K. Um, they're really, really cool. Uh, you, you gotta love the angel eyes, which all M3s have. Um, next, let's move down here to the, uh, the front. You have the carbon fiber front uh, valence. Uh, sorry, cool car, passed by. Um, Anyway, you can tell that this car has really been driven because there's actually some cracks in the carbon fiber um, and a lot of scratches as well. Um, also, something to note is that the wrap on this car, on the front anyway, it seems to be coming apart. They wrapped it in a couple different pieces. Um, anyone that knows this about wrapping a car uh, the front bumper is probably one of the hardest places to wrap on a car. However, what they did here was not the correct format. Uh, you could actually see the Alpine white over here, uh, but you know, that's not the dealership that wrapped the car, so it is what it is. Also, right here on the edge, you could see uh, some of the car as well, which means that they didn't do a good job on the corners. There's some fingering over here. Uh, you really need to see it up close, but um, it really, uh, it's really not a terrible job, but it's also not the best I've seen. Right here, you can see the crack in the carbon fiber. Um, it's, you know, these cars are made to be driven. This particular car only has about 30,000 miles, but again, you could see how the rack was just very poorly put on on the front bumper um, around the kidney girls it seems like they did a pretty good job around the kidney girls I actually uh, I don't mind that all right let's talk about what we have under the hood we have a straight six twin turbo putting out 425 horsepower and 406 pounds of torque it looks really good really clean you can see one intake there you can see the other one over there uh, both aftermarket and both by Berger Motorsports, uh, which as you know, make the JB4. Um, my favorite part is the carbon fiber strut tower. Uh, it, it really is beautiful underneath this hood, not much is touched. Again, you can see that it is Alpine white um, just by opening the hood. Onto the other side of this car, um, as we are to expect, there is a lip on the rotors, um, so you're going to want to have those replaced at some point. Uh, the pads are actually good on this car, they did replace those, that was nice. And the Michelin Pilot Super Sports, actually I can't get under there because the car is uh, lowered, but it actually does have a decent amount of tread left on them, so uh, you won't need new tires, which is nice. All right, so. Now that we did the front tires and the bumpers, let's move back a little bit. We'll go to the front door. Um, again, the wrap could have been much better. You can always take it off though. Um, the good part about a wrap is that you know that underneath the paint is probably in pretty good shape because it looks like this car has been wrapped for at least a year. 
and I mean it is the 2017 so the paint wasn't exposed to the sun for very long um, let's go to the rear door same thing wrapped in three pieces I mean the shop that did this wrap just did not do it properly uh, here in the back look at this fitment guys Wow look at this it's flush to the fender you, you love to see that but you can see because of the fitment it's definitely rubbing here so you might want to raise it just a touch however I'm really digging this fitment uh, then again back here you know this car is lowered rock chips in the back but I mean because it's wrapped the paint's probably pretty protected under here um, I recommend probably taking the wrap off but you probably will be pretty surprised with the condition of the paint um, you know it, then again it also is underneath the wrap and you don't actually know what you're gonna find which is a little bit of a problem <laughs> okay back to this side here I mean it just looks incredible Alright, so we had a very quick walk around the car. My overall impression so far is that it's actually in pretty good shape. It only has 30,000 miles. The wrap is in terrible shape. They did not do a good job wrapping this car at all. Um, it definitely needs to do rotors, but other than that, you know, pretty basic for a car with 30,000 miles. Not really much uh, that's messed up. So. Uh, we're going to go to the interior now and uh, see what it's like. One of my favorite things about the car is, of course, keyless entry. Look at that. It just opens right up. The door is nice and light. Uh, this is the Nutmeg interior. So what I do love about these cars is the carbon fiber interior. I mean, they are really nice. I mean, I like the weave on here. I do not like this M Performance shifter. I do know that it is from the factory with this car, but I'm not a fan. I, will, I prefer the ZHP one. Um, again, more carbon fiber here. Not really much to uh, distinct this car from a regular 3 Series, which I happen to have. Um, other than really the steering wheel. Uh, steering wheel, typically these steering wheels especially, with all the driving people do, they get real messed up real quickly. Uh, this one's actually in really, really nice shape, so that's good. You have these cup holders here, which uh, fit pretty decent sized cups. Brought one just to test it out. Under here you have the cigarette lighter. Put that back in for them. USB port, everything you want. Let's check the glove box. Uh, they might have the uh, owner's manual inside the dealership. Typically, dealerships do that so nobody steals it on the test drive. But um, it is not in here at the moment. Let's turn this bad boy on and see how it sounds. Sounds good. Definitely an aftermarket exhaust, but it sounds good. Typically, I don't like the sound of this car. Uh, I think that BMW did a really crappy job with the sound, but this actually sounds really good on the startup. Okay, so here's my final review of the car. Uh, the dealership actually would not let me drive the car even though I confirmed with them five times, literally, that I had need to drive the car for the review. They completely wasted my time. I'm a little bit upset about it, but I'm gonna post the review anyway. So, about the car. Uh, the car was completely modded, you could tell. Um, you could tell that the previous owner uh, was full bolt-on. Uh, in fact, I'm pretty sure he left most of the mods on there. Um, but I can't tell for sure because I didn't have enough time to test it out. Um, but anyway, based on the condition of the brakes, I could tell that this guy beat the car to hell. 
I mean, you could just tell from day one, this car was driven like it was on the track 24 seven. So just because of that, I have to say that I would not purchase this car. Even if it was $20,000, I would still not purchase it because once the warranty's up, the car is gonna have so many issues because it was pushing uh, full bolt on. These cars make, you know, 600 horsepower easy. So if he's pushing that on this block, I, I wouldn't mess with it. And especially at the price that they're at, they're asking for, for the same price of 45 grand you can buy a very, very clean one. And I would say to just do that and forget this car, forget the whole thing.